Super duper do, how are you? I'm sure you are amazing. <laughs> and would it be possible to be amazing if you could say yes to these things? I have a career or business that I love, that I'm passionate about. I choose my own hours. I am my own boss. I go on holidays when it suits me. I earn the amount of money that I want to earn and I work with the people that I want to work with. And it sounds like a dream life and the people that live that life will tell you that it's awesome and is it possible there's a lot of people that wish to have that but they feel stuck that they have to have a boss or they have to have a certain job or they have to only earn a certain amount of money or they can only go on holidays when that when it's when they're allowed to yuck <laughs> so is it possible to have your own business and or is it possible to run your own business inside somebody else's business so that you can say yes to all of those things and the reason that uh, I love asking these questions is that I actually know the answer the answer is yes you can literally work for somebody else and still choose your own hours, be your own boss, earn the amount of money that you want to earn, go on holidays when you want to go on holidays and work with the people that you want to work with. And that, by definition, is also your own business. So if you have a product or service that you're really passionate about, can you have your own business? And one of the things in my life, I have very few things that annoy me, but this is one of the things that really annoys me. When people say, you can't have a business or you can't have a successful, profitable business, uh, it's too hard, it's too complicated. And is it possible that there are some, and there's two questions here. One is that people make business really complicated and or there are people that have tried to have their own business. It was too complicated for them because they didn't have the right education, they didn't get the right knowledge, they didn't have the right drive, they might not have had the right product or service, they might not have had the passion for that business. It didn't work, it failed with the definition of failure being that you gave up. So they're then going to tell you that you can't have your own business. And I get really annoyed with that because that's their experience. I'm, I don't get annoyed with them. I get annoyed with the concept that it's not possible to have your own successful business because that's just not true. Would that be fair? Are there successful businesses in the world? Are there people who didn't think they could open up a successful business and they have? And are there people who, uh, against all odds, <laughs> when everybody said that product or service, nobody's ever going to want it, nobody's ever going to use it, they had a gut feeling that it would be a great product or service and they've gone ahead, opened up a business and become very successful. And when I say successful, I always use these four areas, of course. They're healthy, fit and strong because they have got great balance of life. So their body's well looked after. Their body, uh, their, their body can then look after their business. So their business is successful and profitable. They don't have to worry about money anymore because they've set up their finances so they can be financially free for the rest of their life. And the people that they have in their life, the relationship component of life, is that their family and friends are supportive of what they do, or they only have people in their life who are supportive of what they do, and their relationship with their clients, their customers, the people that come into their circle of influence for business and or professional and personal reasons uh, are the people that they want to have in their life. So to me, that is a successful life. And that that is what Romax is all about. That's why I'm here every day, because those four things to me mean that you have work-life balance. Could that be fair? If you are healthy, fit, and strong, if you have a career or business that you love, if you don't have to worry about money because you're financially free, and you have great people in your life, is it possible that uh, if even if you don't use the word happy, could you say that you would be satisfied with your life? And I know that those things are all possible. One, I'm a living, breathing example of it. But the reason I'm a living, breathing example of it is that I have studied those four things all of my life. And I very quickly always share, I decided at 13 that that's what I wanted for my life. Literally, I was 13 years of age. I remember the exact day. I remember where I was standing. And I promised myself that that would be my life. And I went looking for people that lived a life like that. And I couldn't find any. And now I'm not, I always share this, it's not that they weren't there, I just couldn't find any. So I made a commitment that I was going to be that person, be healthy, fit and strong, have a career or business that I love, be financially free and have great people in my life. And thus began my study of excellence because I believed that there must be people like that. And not just one area. So what's the use of having a stack of money if you're unhealthy? What's the use of having ripped abdominals? What's the use of that anyway, really? 
<laughs> unless you want to show them off. But what's the use of having a body that's in great shape, healthy, fit and strong if you don't have any money to go and enjoy all the things that you'd love to do with that healthy, fit, strong body? What's the point of having money and a great body if you don't have great people to share it with? And I could put a whole combination of all of those together. To me, that works. That is what life is all about. So if you want a life like that, is it possible? And of course, the answer is yes. So I started studying, how does that happen? So of course, health and fitness, anatomy, physiology, how does the human body work is an important, uh, is the fundamental driving force of my life because I obviously believe, and I'll, be, uh, I'll ask you this question, how could you have a great business, be financially free and have great people in your life if you were dead? And ultimately, the, the worst outcome of being unhealthy, unfit and weak is that you end up dead, die early. And if you're not dead, your life's pretty crappy because you've got no energy to enjoy all the things in your life. So the driving force for me has always been be healthy, fit and strong. Learn how to do that for yourself and the other people in your life, of course. However, eight hours out of our 24 for most people, one third of our life is our job, our career or our business. So why are there some people that start a business and become very successful? Some people start a business and become averagely successful. Some people start a business and it fails immediately. And there's other people that have in businesses now that were started two, three, four hundred years ago. Literally, those businesses are still going and the people that are running them now are still motivated and inspired by the person that started the business. And that's where I really am very interested in, the, particularly the library behind me is all about out, successful athletes, business people, companies, organizations, charities that were started a long, long time ago, they're still going. The people that are running the businesses never even met the person that started the business, but that business is still going. I find that really interesting and I would like to know the excellence of that, which has been my driving force. So every day I'm studying how to be healthy, fit and strong and how to have a career or business that you love. That is long lasting. It's not just a starts and stops. And here's the challenge. A lot of people think about business or a career as a way to earn money. The people that have successful businesses and careers of excellence, I'm not talking average and I'm not talking, you know, they're going to do it for a couple of years. They, they, they love it. They're passionate about it. They would do it for free. I think that's one of the big driving forces. They would do it for free. They're the ones that have become the most financially free. So is there a connection there? A lot of people start a business, I want to make money and then retire. Is it possible that that's one of the reasons why the business fails? Because they're not focusing on the business, they're focusing on when they're going to retire. It's like uh, uh, sporting teams that focus on winning the grand final and going on the fun trip after the grand final. And they end up not even getting to the grand final because the focus is not on making, uh, winning every game or winning every point or winning every part of the game that's required to win that game and then the next game and then the next game. Uh, and could the driving force for that be that you love the sport that you're playing rather than, I can't wait to go on the, on the grand final trip? I'll just use that as a simple example. So what makes business successful? And if your business is successful, one of the components of that, of course, is that you become financially free. So you have the headspace and the skills, the financial skills, to be able to make money, invest wisely, and be financially free for the rest of your life. And the financial experts often say this, there's three ways to make money. You can invest in the stocks and shares, you can invest in real estate, or you can invest in your own business, perhaps somebody else's business. So the, the third part is that you invest in business. Uh, and ultimately, I don't. If, and I've had a lot to do with stocks and shares. I've had a lot to do with property. I'm a very old lady. I've been investing money for a very long time. But the interesting part about the first two is I have no control over those, or, or limited control. Uh, yes, you can decide what you're going to invest in. But what people do inside their business that you have in, have bought shares in is often out of your control. What you, what the property market is doing is often out of your control, but your business is always in your control. And that's what's really exciting. To choose your own hours, be your own boss, work when you want to work, holiday when it suits you, and earn the amount of money that you want to earn. And I keep using those as examples because I think that's a really very special way to live. The last part of that, of course, is that You've got to have great relationships. So healthy, fit and strong, career that you love, financially free and the people that are in your life. And one of the uh, determining factors, of course, of a great career or business or even a healthy, fit, strong body is the support of the people in your life. 
I have a lot of people share with me that they find it difficult to be healthy, fit and strong because their partner's not supportive or their kids aren't supportive or their family tells them that they're wasting time by exercising. And it's one of those things I have to combat and fight against all the time because the people in their life aren't supportive of their healthy, fit, strong body. Imagine uh, having a beautiful business that you're excited and passionate about or a career path that you're excited and passionate about, but nobody else in your life is. They pull you down, tell you that you can't do it, that you're not smart enough, you don't have enough money. Imagine trying to run a business with that hassle in your life. Now, people do it, but wouldn't it be nice that that last component of a great life, the, the people in your life, wouldn't it be nice to have only people in your life who are respectful of your goals hold you accountable to your goals, want you to achieve them, and whatever it is that you do, they would never tell you, you can't do it. Uh, I love these people which say, how can you? (laughs) Congratulations, Rory, I'm really glad that you want to do that. How are you going to do it? Let's brainstorm and make it work. So that uh, driving force for me of those four areas of life, apart from the fact that it's created the Max International Colleges because I want everybody to have the skills, tools and knowledge to be able to have those four areas of their life sorted. The career and business part, the financial part, there are some major factors that uh, the or fundamentals or the foundation or the proof or the evidence from other companies, other businesses, other organizations about what you need to do. And that's where my study of excellence for business has just been a very special part of my life because when you've got all of those areas sorted, your business will be successful. You will be healthy, fit and strong. You will be financially free and you will only have respectful people in your life. So how do you make that happen? And here's... Uh, this is controversial. When I say it's controversial, people argue this all the time. I will, and I don't argue, it's not part of my DNA. But on my study, my research, the evidence, everybody that I've looked at, studied, met, dealt with, experienced, I am this person also, uh, these fundamentals are the same. And I always call it, I call it the sweet spot, other people call it different things. But if you have these three things going, your business can't fail, your career can't fail, your relationships can't fail, your financial plan can't fail. So the sweet spot is very simple, and I'll just share it as I always do very simply. What are you the most passionate about? Number one. Number two, if you are passionate about something, won't you want to be the best at it? I'll rephrase. Will you want to be the best at it? Will you do the study, learning, education, ongoing training because you love what you do so much, you want to be really good at it? And the answer to that is yes, and the evidence is outstanding. If you love what you do, you want to keep getting better at it, so you'll do the study and training and education to make that happen. Whether you're an artist, sports person, a dancer, a business person, you run a charity, you're a builder, you're a car mechanic, doesn't matter. If you love what you do, you want to keep getting better at it. You don't want to stagnate. Even if you are the best in the world at it, nobody that's the best in the world at something wants to stay there. They want to keep getting better. So number one, sweet spot is do what you love. Number two is keep getting better at it. And number three is that you add massive value to people's lives. And this is the really important one because you might, for example, love to go hiking. And I live in the South Island of New Zealand. It's a beautiful place to go hiking. Uh, And I'm really passionate about it. And I would love to be the best in the world at hiking. But if my hiking isn't adding value to other people's lives, then I don't have a product or service that uh, will give me all those four areas of my life sorted. So it might give me health and fitness, but it's not going to give me a career or business that I love and it's not going to make me financially free. And if I'm off hiking by myself all the time, I probably won't have great relationships or I won't have any relationships for that matter. So great question to ask yourself based on the evidence of of the people in the world who really love their life, love their business, they're financially free and they're healthy, fit and strong. The question is this, what are you the most passionate about? And I don't give a damn how many people tell you, you can't do that for a business. It won't work. Nobody's done that before. You can't have a profitable business doing that. That's where you've got to shut your shut your ears and bloody walk away because that's not true. Every business that's ever been started, every person that's had a passion was told by somebody that it's not possible, it can't be done. They just didn't listen. So if you've got this beautiful idea in your head that's something that you're really passionate, and that's the thing here, it's not maybe I want to, it's that you're passionate about it. The driving force is that you want to do it. 
you love it so much, you would do it for free. You want to do it for the rest of your life and you really love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Number one. Number two then is really easy because if you, if you love something, it's not work, it's not hard. And I'll give you a beautiful example. I just listened to an awesome podcast from a young man who started baking and started, or he loves cooking. And he started a business making donuts. That business is now worth nearly $200 million. Uh, and when he was asked by a group of entrepreneurs, uh, you're only a young kid, you're still at school, you're running a business, when do you have fun? And he looked at these adults and, he, and he, it was like he was perplexed. He said, this is fun. <laughs> Running my business is the best fun I've ever had. And that's what your career path should be. That's what your business should be. And if it's not, is it possible that then you're doing it for the money and maybe that's why businesses don't work? If it's about the money and when I get enough money, I'm going to retire, could that be, and I call it your sparkly bits, that's what's coming off your DNA, off your communication, off everything about you says, I don't really love this. I'm just doing this to make money so I can retire. And customers and clients will feel that, the people in your life will get that, and it's not the person that most people want to do business with. We really are, and I'll use myself as a personal example, but I'll ask you this question. Do you want to work with people that are average and bored and, and are over it, or do you want to be involved with people who are really passionate about something? And I, I ask that question of exercise professionals all the time, because I'm sure you've been to a gym or, or been to a class where you can tell that the person teaching the class or the person trainer in the gym is over it. They don't want to do this anymore. And I always ask them that. I say, please don't do this anymore. If you if you love what you do, people will be attracted to your passion. Pass I on is a simple, beautiful word that says if I'm passionate about something, then I can pass that on to other people because I love it. So if you if you want your business to be successful, it will be. Do what you love. Keep getting better at it and it won't be work. Sports people will tell you that. They don't train because they have to. They train because they love playing their sport. And if you look at average sports people, even professional sports people who get paid versus the people that get paid the most, the ones that are the most highest paid and the best at what they do, they're the ones that want to keep getting better. They're the ones that train when nobody else is training. They're the ones that train in their spare time. They, they're dreaming in their sleep about getting better at their sport. They keep getting better and better and better because they love it. So because they love it, they keep training and doing more education because they love it. And is it possible that when you love something, when you're really good at something, whether it's a product or a service, people will be attracted to that and that'll add massive value to people's lives, which is movie stars, rock stars, dancers, business people, doctors, lawyers, doesn't matter. The reason you've become really good at what you do is because you love it and then people are attracted to that because they might be attracted to your passion. They might be attracted to the fact that you're the best in the world at it. They might be attracted to both. But because they're attracted to it, they want to be part of what you do, which means they think you can add massive value to their lives. So they will watch your movie. They will watch your choreography in a dance routine. They will come to your law office. They will come to your medical clinic. They will come to your personal training studio. They will come to you as a personal exercise coach. They will want to join your gym. They will want to listen to your songs. Isn't that awesome? So when somebody tells you that you can't be successful in business, uh, this might be a reason, again, why you share this particular Romax with them. The people in your life that are telling you that you can't, uh, to, in, in their defense, they probably believe that. Do, but, but their belief doesn't have to be your belief. If somebody else believes it's impossible, that doesn't mean that you have to believe it's impossible. Leave them to their beliefs. If they think it's not possible and it can't be done, let them believe that. But you don't have to believe the same thing. If you've got a passion, if you want to be the best in the world at it and keep getting better, and if you want to add massive value to people's lives, just ask those questions to yourself. If you put those three together, how could you fail? Definition of failure is that you give up. So of course you can't fail because you'd never give up because you're doing what you're the most passionate about. You're not doing it for the money. And that's a really important thing here. You would do it for free. And every single millionaire, multimillionaire, billionaire that I've ever been exposed to, now we're talking purely money, the ones that are the most successful financially never, never did it for the money, never. They did it because they loved it. They wanted to add value to the world. 
They wanted to leave a legacy on the world and because of that, they became successful financially. The people that do it for the money and end up retiring, and and just so you know this statistic, and again, it's not a a number I've pulled out my bum, most people after they retire at 65, whatever country they're in, so it might be 70 or 60, most people are either dead or on the way to dying within 10 years of retiring. And some people a hell of a lot sooner because they've got no reason to get up anymore because the reason they were getting up was to pay their lousy stinking rotten bills, which is a horrible reason to get up. But they're not doing that anymore, so they're bored to tears and they end up, to me, if you're bored, you may as well be dead. But they end up dying because they've got nothing to do or they're bored or they've got no more purpose. Have a look at the top uh, billion, even the billionaires in the world. There's some really young ones, but there's some very old ones. And here's the great question. Why is it that there are people who could retire? They've got so much money, they don't know what to do with it. They couldn't spend all the money that they've got, even if they tried. There are sports people who are now billionaires. There are fashion models who are now billionaires. There are internet social media gurus that are now billionaires. There are people who have got so much money that they would never need to ever work ever again, and they're still at work every day. They're still on television every day. They're still on social media every day. They're still at their office, at their job, at their work every day. Why? Because what do most people say? The average person would say, when I get enough money, I will retire, I will stop working. And maybe that's the reason why their business fails or why they hate their career so much, because they're not doing it because they love it. They do it. They are doing it for the money. And can we live without money? Of course not. We live in a Western world. Uh, it's not possible. It's one of those things that probably isn't possible unless you learn how to barter really well. But if you don't want to live without money, if you need to have money, wouldn't it be nice to be earning money because you're doing something that you love, that you can choose your own hours, you can be your own boss, and you can choose all the parts of your life that are important to you? And I will put a very interesting side note on that. That is, of course, running your own business. But I'm not an entrepreneur. I'm an intrapreneur. I have never started a business from scratch. I've just gone into other people's businesses with a great skill set and made that business become successful. And I've never taken a wage, I've never taken a salary, I've always taken a percentage or a bonus of the amount of extra business or the amount of extra income and profit that my personal skills have produced for that business. And that's called an entrepreneur. So I've always been able to choose my own hours, I've always been my own boss, I've always earned the amount of money that I want to earn. I've always gone on holidays when it suits me. And I've only ever worked with the people that I love. I've had full control of my life, even though I've never opened a business. Because when you're that kind of person, can you imagine if somebody comes into your business and helps your business grow by two times, five times, 10 times, 100 times, is it possible that they, that you would become very valuable to that business? And please say yes, the answer is yes. So I would love to help you do that. That's what the Max program is all about. That's what the Max Colleges is all about. But the reason that Romax exists is I have a very strict acceptance process for the Max Colleges. To get into the college to be a student, you have to have a whole heap of criteria that, because obviously it's about personal coaching. Uh, It's not a sit in a classroom with a bunch of people that are not interested in the same thing as you are and waste your time going somewhere and sitting in traffic and parking your car and all those silly things that I can't stand about orthodox education. To me, education is about this. What are you the most passionate about? How do you want to become the best in the world so we can give you the right training and education? And how do you want to add value so that we can give you the right training and education so you can make that happen? But that's available to my Mac students every day. But I also understand that the world, uh, and I'll rephrase, have you noticed that the world is getting fatter and sicker and weaker? There are more and more people who hate their job. There are more and more people who are struggling for money and there are more and more people that have horrible relationships. And I just feel responsible now as an old lady. I have this great education facility, but I've produ- I'm producing Romax every day because I want you to be able to live your life to the max. I want you to have a career or business that you love. I want you to be healthy, fit and strong. And if this Romax every day helps or our connection every day helps you have that kind of a life where you can live your life to the max, if somebody in your family can benefit, if somebody that you know can benefit, then I'll feel like I'm adding value to my world and that's why I do what I do. So if you would like to live your life to the max, and I'll use the definition for that for me, is that everything you do, you love it. 
You even love the crappy days, the bad days, the, the days when the weather's horrible, when, the, when people are nasty and criticizing you, when you get injured or sick. You love all of those days because they are the rich experiences of life that make us better and stronger and tougher and wiser. If every day was happy and sunny, if every day everything went brilliantly, we would be as weak as, we would be soft and weak and boring and there'd be no no way, we would all die of Alzheimer's really early because your brain would have no reason to get stronger. So living life to the max for me is loving everything, loving every day, loving every crappy experience, loving every challenge, and really loving every great day, really appreciating that yesterday it's sunny, and yesterday we're going to the beach, and yesterday we're going on holidays. Every part of your life, you live it to the max. That's what I would love for you.